Hello everyone, welcome back to Desert Succulent. Today we will be talking about pruning ng ating mga roots. Our succulents also need some maintenance. And when we talk about pruning, it is yung process where we trim by cutting away yung mga dead or overgrown branches or stems. But for today specifically, we will be trimming yung ating mga roots. We have a couple of reasons kung bakit dapat nating i-prune yung ating mga succulents from time to time. Number one, they can help prevent yung rot. Number two, they encourage new growth. And lastly, they can also help yung ating mga succulents to live longer and healthier. The perfect time for us to prune yung ating mga roots ng ating succulents if nasa same pot sila for more than a year na. So I have here an example. This one is yung ating Echeveria rose cabbage or imbricata. But this one is the pink variety, kaya ganyan yung kanyang tips. So obviously, this one has been here for more than one year na. Ito yung kanyang original pot and na-outgrown niya na siya. If you would notice, lumabas na yung kanyang roots sa kanyang pot. Sobrang daling i-prune and i-maintain yung ating mga succulents. And that's part of our regular maintenance. Kasi over time, yung lower leaves na ating mga succulents will dry up and die. So for example, this one, kung mapapansin ninyo, nag dry na siya completely and that is not something that we should be alarmed of kasi this is just a normal part of a succulent's life cycle. Habang tumatagal, our succulents will keep on growing and the best option for us is to remove yung kanyang leaves from time to time and that's what we are gonna do today. So this one is Sinucrasula indica. So far wala namang dried leaves so iset aside muna natin siya dito. So right now ang gagawin natin is tanggalan muna natin yung kanyang leaves as part of our regular maintenance. So all you need to do is just pull it. Ganyan lang siya. Ganyan ang itsura niya. Talagang patay na yung ating leaves and that's, that's very normal sa ating mga succulents. Ayan, so we just need to keep on removing ito. Habang tinatanggal natin yung kanya mga old and dried leaves, nagkakaroon siya ng more space. Ayan. So kanina, this one is very compact but nung tinanggal natin siya, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, allowance between the leaf and the soil. Dinisan lang natin siyang mabuti and in parts na hindi natin maabot using our hands, you can make use of tweezers para mas convenient. Ayan, so, ayan, so for example ito. Kung hindi natin tatanggalin yung kanyang dried leaves and they will stay here for, for a longer periods of time, mahirapan yung soil natin na mag, mag dry out completely and because of that, there's a big possibility na yung ating plant may begin to rot. Kasi, syempre, pag nagdilig tayo, hindi masyadong uh, nagkakaroon ng good air circulation because of these dried leaves na covering yung ating soil. It looks nicer after nating tanggalin yung mga dried leaves. So, top view, they both look okay. Pero side view, this one looks more presentable compared to this one. In addition, removing yung leaves ng ating succulent could help encourage new growth along sa kanilang stem. So eventually, we will be expecting some growth doon sa, sa stems kung saan tayo nagtanggal ng kanyang leaves. Before we prune our succulents, first we need to remove yung kanyang original pot. So this one is our indica. As you can see, yung kanyang soil is already completely dry. And if you have plans of uprooting yung inyong mga succulents, or even repotting your succulents. Make sure na yung kanyang soil will be dry kasi that's gonna be easier, hindi siya messy. Ayan, so kung mapapansin ninyo, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to remove yung kanyang soil. Ayan, so yan yung ating pinaka-soil. As you can see, it's very loose yung ginamit nating soil for this uh, indica. But it's about time for us na tanggalan siya ng roots. Ayan, so if you would see, ganyan nakahaba yung kanyang roots. You have an option if gusto nyong bawasan lang siya ng konti or totally tanggalin yung mga roots niya. We always need to make sure that our pair of scissors or shears are clean before pruning yung ating mga succulents to prevent our succulents from getting a disease. And I'm using 70% isopropyl alcohol. Ayan lang siya. So, iganyan nyo lang siya. All you need to do is gupitin dito. 
so not really the stem but the roots Ayan. so if you are doing this one you would expect na some leaf might fall off kasi syempre while handling it hindi maiwasan yun but we really need to be extra careful you can always propagate yung mga leaves na natanggal Mag-iwan lang tayo ng konting roots as requested by our customer kasi this one is bound for buhol kaya it's very important for us na i-trim yung kanyang roots and air dry for a couple of days before natin siya i-pack and i-send. This one is Anacamceros na sa akin ay So this one has a lot of offsets na rin. Again, you have to make use of gloves kasi we really need to protect ourselves when doing this one. Masol na to, sayang naman kung hindi natin siya i reuse But we cannot just reuse it basta-basta we have a proper way of preparing our soil na nagamit na. Just in case you want to use it again. So we also need to check for some signs of pests kung meron man. For example, if there are mealybugs or roots, mga ants or others, tatanggalin natin lahat yan. But for this one, I think healthy naman siya. Ayan, ang dami ng offsets. So, we also have this. For example, we have this one. Ito kasi yung mga nasa lower part na leaves and naiipit sila. That's why din kakaroon sila ng parang dent marks here. You can also remove it if you want. Kung ayaw yung tanggalan, it's also okay. But for me, I will remove it kasi I can use this for propagation. So, top view ng ating anakam series will be like this. And sa baba, ganyan na itsura niya. And we will try to trim yung kanyang roots, again, using our scissors. Ayan. So, ganyan. So, you really don't need to be afraid pag tinatanggalan nyo siya ng roots kasi it will eventually grow in time. Yes. You can also make use of some brush na ganito. This one is yung typical na brush for paints. You can just use this to brush off yung mga remaining soil sa ating succulents and still if there are remaining soil na nandito na gusto nating tanggalan you can make use of our soft tip na mga brushes ayan so you can use this brush both sa baba and also ito sa taas just in case may mga soil na naipit in between yung mga kanyang leaves or rosettes you can just brush that off using this soft tip na brush Ayan, so we are done with this anacamceros. So, ilagay lang natin siya dyan and we will air dry it for for 7 days. That's our standard air drying time. We have here lovely rose. So, again, we have dried leaves sa kanyang baba. We just need to remove it. Ayan, so medyo madaling tanggalan itong si ating lovely rose kasi ano, may isang stem lang siyang ganyan. So, let's remove we can easily see kung ano nga ba ang bagong roots at saka old roots. I will show you. Tanggal na lang natin ng konti itong kanyang roots. Ayan. So, itong, itong part na to, this one is the old roots. And makapansin nyo yung kanyang, ito, yung mga, yan o, yung white. Yan mga yan. Yan yung mga bagong tubo na roots. You also have the option of washing completely with running tap water in yung, ang inyong mga succulents. If you wish, to completely na matanggal yung kanyang soil. Cut lang natin ulit. Ayan. So, tanggalan lang natin sa gilid, -gilid. So, For example, unintentionally na sobrahan kayo ng pagtanggal ng kanyang roots, you really don't need to panic or worry kasi all you need to do is air dry yung inyong mga succulents. So, tanggalin pa natin itong mga to. So, sometimes, after 7 days, magkakaroon na tayo ng new growth ng mga roots and sometimes then wala pang growth ng new root. So, depende talaga sa sakin. So, this one is our lovely rose. Ayan, we can just ayan, tanggalin natin yung mga nakadikit-dikit dyan. We have a new offset dito and makikita ninyo wrinkled siya kasi hindi siya watered for for almost 2 weeks na. Ganun kasing ginagawa ko if I will repot or change yung soil na ating mga succulents. I make sure na hindi ko sila dinidiligan kasi it's gonna be more convenient for me. 
the next thing that we need to do is i-air dry natin ito. That's gonna be the second part of this video na dapat ninyong abangan. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more video tips about our succulents.